Hello guys, welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Aubrey. If you're new here, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, all the things. So I have been on a bit of a health journey lately. I've been focusing in on my eating, my exercise. I'll do more videos on that later. One of the things that I've picked up, I live in New York City. There was a point where I was going to a bunch of workout classes and I really enjoyed it. The workout classes in New York are super fun. Hi, the puppy is here and he's being very needy. I really enjoy workout classes. I think it's a fun way to get into the workout and really enjoy it because they're actually enjoyable. There's a lot of fun ones in the city. There's a lot of different ways you can work out. There's something for everyone, I feel. So I wanted to try out some workout classes here in New York. I know some of these places have like franchises and they'll be elsewhere so you can try it in other cities, but I just wanted to give my little reviews because I I like talking about the things that I do. So I took as much video as I could in these places, but like, I'm just a little mouse. I can't be out here filming people working out, you know, like I'm trying to enjoy it too. The classes I'm gonna be talking about today are five different workout franchises here in New York. Body Rock, Y7, Cycle Bar, AKT, ATK or AKT, let me Google. AKT and Tracy Anderson. Whoa, hello. A lot of these different workout places, you can get a first time class offer, something like that. Another great way, which is what I used this month, is Class Pass. This is how I got into workout classes. Before, they give you a month free, they'll give you a certain amount of credits, and you can't try everything, but you can try certain things based on those credits. So each one will be a different number, and they'll have all the times and the places and it's a really great way to try a bunch of things so that's what I did. The first class I want to talk about is Audi Rock. The Pilates that I have done have been at home Pilates workouts, different Pilates types of moves, but I had never tried a reformer Pilates class. This was my first one. I went two times to Body Rock. I'm going to talk about two different classes they had, and I went to two different locations. The first class that I went to was Body Rock Cardio. So apparently how Body Rock classes work is they have a schedule for the whole month and they'll have different classes during those days. I just booked whatever was there for the day that I wanted to go and the time that I wanted to go. I went to the Union Square location. I actually quite like this location. If it is your first time, show up a little bit early, especially I was a little bit nervous about trying to learn how to use this machine previous to the class. So I showed up early. They showed me the reformer. I met the instructor, but it wasn't so like hard out. And it was very chill and not intimidating, which I like because sometimes these classes can be like intimidating. They have the studio lit in this like blue light, which is nice, but you could still see, which was good. I walked in and I started to introduce myself. They were very, very nice. Front desk lady went to look at what class it was today. And she goes, oh, so this technically is our hardest class. I was like, well, I like cardio, so whatever, it should be fine, but like, Great, good for me. We start the class. The instructor literally says, welcome to Murder Monday. The reformer, they explain to you, it's pretty straightforward, but you can always just look at what people are doing, listen to what they're saying, just like go a little bit slower to do things. You don't have to like jump the gun so that you don't like look stupid, you know? There's different string attachments on a reformer that have different weights. For other classes, for different moves, the instructor will tell you, oh, put a blue on, put two blacks, two yellows. They have different resistances. This one, we just put one yellow and that was it. And you never touched it. There's a front and a back of the reformer and the saddle is in the middle and it goes like this, right? It moves. But the saddle and the string is attached to the front. So as you pull to the back, it's farther resistance, it's tighter. So this class, we were on the back of the reformer the whole time. And so everything we did, you had to hold the weight of the saddle and the resistance. So this is what made it really tough because any move that you had, you had this like full weight resistance. You couldn't ever really fully relax your muscles. And if you were to let go of something, the saddle would then just like shoot back. Being my first time on a reformer, I wasn't prepared for how <laughs> freaking hard it was. We started off with this cardio move where you put your knees on the back of the bench and you put your elbows on the saddle and you have to like crunch it in. And I physically couldn't do it for a second. I was like, what's happening? And I realized later that it was because it was on the back of the reformer, which holds a lot of weight and tension. So I consider myself to be pretty strong. I have an athletic build. So I was shook 
when I was struggling with things. Basically, I'm just like, I knew Pilates was good, a good workout, but really like the respect of Pilates girls, like respect. I love it. I liked the movements. I like Pilates movements. I find them to be the type of thing that I enjoy. I wasn't like looking for the class to be over. I wasn't bored. A really good core workout, but this was hard. I left being like, oh my gosh. And there was a lot of moments where my muscle was like giving out. I did try a second body rock class because I wanted to see if I went to a regular class, not this cardio back of the reformer class, if it was gonna be more my speed. And I loved this class. I want to do it all the time. I found it to be so fun, but also a really great workout. We were on the front of the machine or on the saddle the whole time. We changed the resistance. It was just a much more workable weight and resistance for me so that I could focus on like good form and get a really good workout instead of just like this crazy way too hard thing. I went to the flat iron location for this class to try out another studio. This one I liked because it was flat iron, which I prefer, but I liked it a little bit less. Also, if I didn't mention, you need Pilates socks for these classes. You need socks that have a grip on them. I have aloe yoga ones. You can get them on Amazon. You can also buy them at the studio when you go. That was Body Rock. Next, I tried Cycle Bar. I used to do cycling classes in college and I have a Peloton in my gym. So I have done cycling. I have never used cycling shoes. I've never had to. We always had the strap. So this was my first time with the cycling cycling shoes, I was a little bit like, okay, let me see how to figure this out. I went to the Nomad location, love that place. It was nice and big, very easy to find, like big red flags. I used to walk by it all the time. You walk in, there's like a self-service kiosk area, but there's also people to help you. Very seamless for me to be like, hey, it's my first time. They give you your shoes. And you also, before you get there, you get an email showing what spot you're gonna be in. So there's a bunch of bikes, they're all numbered and they just pick a bike for you which is really nice. It takes the guessing out of it. You just walk to your bike. So you get your shoes there. It's included with the price of the class, which I love. They also have towels there and they have little cubbies. So you put your little shoes on, you put your stuff in the cubby and then you go into class. The class is very big. They have a lot of bikes, but it wasn't a full class when I went. It's a tiered platform room so that everybody can see the front. It had like a red light going on and then the front was, there's a platform with the where the instructor goes. I like this class because the instructor does everything with you. The Pilates classes, She's not working out with you. She's showing you what to do and they'll maybe demonstrate just on the ground, but they're not on the reformer with you. Cycle bar, I enjoy it because there's no guessing work. You're staring at the instructor who's staring at you. They're doing everything that you need to be doing. If you've ever taken a cycling class, I feel like they're all similar in the way that you're just pedaling, baby. You're just pedaling. There's different choreography that different classes do. I think this one had a good amount of choreography that was fun and you got a little bit of arms but also it's the choreography can be dangerous because you have to keep on beat, can injure yourself if you don't do it correctly. I really liked the instructor that I took it with because she was really focused on form. She told you like, keep your knees in. She was focused on form and safety, which I appreciated. The shoe thing is like a little bit complicated. You'll figure it out. When you walk in, you have to set your bike to your own measurements. Again, if it's your first time, get there early, ask the instructor, she'll help you. On cycling bikes, there's a knob for resistance that makes it harder and less hard. You kind of just have to play with the shoe. It'll want to pop right in. Getting it out is tough. You have to twist your foot really hard and clack it out. The girl next to me could not get her shoe feet out and so she had to like take her shoes off at the end and I was like, oh no. And mine was like a little bit hard. You have to like twist it really hard. This class goes very much based on the music and the rhythm. You're just kind of cycling along. You change the resistance. Their resistance was a, like a little bit of funny. I think they have, it has like a sensor on it that will like change it for you. I kept like twisting it and then they would go like nowhere. And then all of a sudden it was at like really far. The resistance was, was funny. So you have to like play with it. I don't really know what was going on. Whereas like the Peloton goes very like number my number up and number my number down. There is two different stats, how fast you're cycling and then the resistance. The whole class, you'll change those numbers. She'll tell you what numbers to be at and also 
you just follow the music, follow her. It was fun. You burn a lot of calories, so it's a good cardiovascular workout and a good leg workout. The arms, I feel like were good, but not like, I don't think it was like a good arm workout. The only thing I don't particularly love about the class is that they put up your stats periodically throughout the class and then at the end. And some people would love that. I'm like, this is, why is everybody looking at this? This is just like weird. And I just don't need to be like looking at that. I don't feel like, I didn't love that, but whatever. I will say, I feel like you get different things out of every workout. And this would be my like hard cardiovascular. It was, it was challenging the whole way through. And there was points where I was like, when is this over? And that is something that I look for because there are other workout classes that I I won't even like think about the time. It will pass by and I'll be like, oh my God, that was amazing. This, I was kind of like looking at the clock, like when is this over? Okay, Y7. I have gone many times to Y7. I used to go a lot. I tried it again yesterday. Y7 is a hot yoga class. In terms of hot yoga, I do enjoy it. Every instructor is different. It's based on like preferences, but this class, they keep very warm. They keep very, very dark, which I like, especially when it's warm, you're sweating a lot and it, it gets moody. They have nice music. It's a little bit more like spiritual. They talk about like inspirational things. There's a little bit more spirituality in yoga. At Y7, they do charge you for a mat and a towel. So bring your own if you don't want to pay for that. Otherwise, they're five bucks each or nine bucks together. I like that the, the studios are always very clean. They have a nice aesthetic. They have nice products there. It's a nice place to work out. My first Y7 class, I was shook because you walk in, there's no mirrors. It's a very dark room. They have light, they have like candle lights around and then they have little tapes where you put your mat. I got there really early. I was the first person in my first class, so I didn't know what to do. I put my mat down and I was facing one way and then some other people started coming and they sat down and they were facing at me. And it was kind of like when you walk in the elevator and you're facing people, It was I was like, oh my God, this is the wrong way. So I had to flip around. So then instead of being in the back facing forward, I was in the front facing backwards. So then when I turned around, I was facing nobody and I knew that I would want to look at what other people are doing. So I backed up a little bit. So like, just keep that in mind. It is very, very dark. When I went the other day, I almost forgot how dark it was. I couldn't even see to get to my spot. So be careful. Don't step on anybody, but it's really nice during the workout because you feel like you're in your own vibe nobody can look at you because it's dark and you can just sweat it out and do your thing this class again they don't do it with you they just tell you what to do and in terms of yoga i don't think that's the best if you're a beginner maybe try something else because they're just kind of shouting out yoga poses and like i'm not i'm not a beginner yoga person i'm more like intermediate so i know most of them but even some of the way they say things it's just a little bit confusing depending on the instructor you have to look around see what other people are doing yoga is like a totally different workout where it's very much like lengthening flexibility balance however like if that was going to I could never have it be just my own workout going to these other classes made me realize that like maybe I don't love it as much as I used to I don't know you go in and out yoga is really good for you so it's something that's nice it's a little bit softer um, but it still can be hard in other ways it felt hard and like I couldn't move my body like that way or it's like you're hitting muscles that are deep within but it didn't feel like as good of a workout. I like more cardiovascular in my workout because I feel like my blood pumping, I, f I like that feeling. So I missed that a little bit in Y7. Then I tried Tracy Anderson. So I have been fawning over the Tracy Anderson like whole lifestyle. I've done a few workouts from home from her and it's like unlike anything else it's a little bit dancey it's a little bit pilates it's a little bit like weight training kind of moves and it's also heated it's low weight high repetition workout which i really enjoy because then you like really build this burn instead of just like bussing out a hot really heavy weight for a few reps. I feel like this is a really good way to burn and strengthen and tone. And I also felt the cardiovascular. This one is my favorite. As soon as I did it, I was like, I wanna go back the next day. The next day I was like, I wanna go again. Here's the thing, it's super expensive. It was not on class pass. They do have monthly subscriptions that are like really expensive, but every class I think is $45. So do it that way you will. But it's a really great workout. It was so fun. The thing I love about Tracy Anderson classes that you miss when you do the online 
online classes was the studio experience. They have these floors that have a little bit of a bounce to them. So you, when you're jumping up and down, you're not putting too much pressure on your knees. It makes it a lot easier on your joints. Definitely was like more older ladies in that class. Not like old, they were all like honestly freaking cooler than me, like these Upper East Side moms. I feel like it's a more range, ranged workout in terms of age. Whereas like everybody who was at the reformers Pilates class was my age. So that was cool. There's definitely like a vibe with it. It felt very fun and cool. The instructor was fun. They play fun music. The instructor does not talk. And honestly, I love this. I, I really like watching and copying. She'll shout things out sometimes to like guide you, but really you just watch and you follow and she does the workout too. So you feel like in it together. I really like that. They already have the mats set up. They have towels set up. They have weights set up for you. Everything comes with the class, which is nice because like I said, for like Y7, you have to pay for your mat. I think every time this paid for, you go in, find a little mat. The room is hot. It is hot, it is humid, but it feels really good. You get a schwitz going, they have like little fans. There's mirrors on every side of the wall and there's these resistance bands on the ceiling. The intermediate classes, intermediate mat, I, I think is like the classic first time classes. You don't use any of the bands or anything. You just use the mat and the weights. So they have hand weights, ankle weights, mat and towels. And I grabbed an extra towel because I needed to wipe my face with this towel. Usually you start standing up with the hand weights and you do some kind of like like jumping it's kind of like it feels like dancey but not too hard and you're doing with the weights it's a good arm workout it's a lot of like this and then you do this and you're jumping and you're jumping and you're jumping so it feels like dance it's very fun and as soon as you feel like you're gonna burn out they change it and you're doing this and it's really fun so i love that when you do the mat there's a lot of mat you work every muscle in your your body they have just the most unique movements you'll like kick your leg out twist around kick the other leg out it's very fun and entertaining and you do the same thing again and again and again so you get but it's not boring somehow i don't know it's just great i really 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 enjoyed it this is the one that i want to continue and a really great workout from head to toe honestly my favorite one, I will be going there more. Okay, last one I tried was AKT. I grew up dancing, I love dancing, and I really like like dance workouts. I used to go to this class at Crunch Fitness with this one instructor and she was like the best dancer ever and we would do full amazing routines and it would be this crazy workout and I loved it. When COVID hit, like I, it, it stopped. I haven't been able to find her again. I don't go to that gym anymore so I can't go there anymore. So I've been missing that like dance aspect but it was definitely like for dancers. So I thought this would be kind of similar. You go to this class, you wear sneakers, light clothes. They have a mat and weights and towel. They have a few different types of class. Dance, tone, intervals, I believe. And they do like one a day or something. I went to the dance class, but you still do a little bit of everything. You do the mat, you do a little bit workout, and then also dance routines. So they were very nice at the studio. I went to the Nomad location. It was very clean and cool. The room is cool. They keep it like dark. They did film class for you, but it was just for the instructor apparently. So you pick a mat, but then you stand in the middle and then you'll go between dance and then mat work where she'll tell you to pull out the mat and you do things like there was one like leg combo, there was one core combo, there was one arm combo, and then in between you do dance cardio. What I didn't love was the dance. I felt like it was very simple Zumba style things, and we did the same. It wasn't a combination, it wasn't like a routine, it wasn't like a fun dance class. It was just like dance moves, kind of Zumba-ish. The same one, adding a few things or add, changing it a little bit to all the different songs. And I just didn't love the dancing. It was, I don't know, it just wasn't up to par of what the type of dance routines that I used used to do, especially when I had this old class that I would get my like dance class in. Like, I was doing like routines and like fun hip hop moves. Like this was very simple, like grapevine and throw, grapevine and throw. I don't know, not like dissing. It was nice, but not for me. I don't think I'd go back. It was a nice cardiovascular workout. I was very tired. There were things that I was like, oh, um, which was good. And you do get a little bit of like legs and abs like that. The dance was not my fave. So I think my dance class is still, I'm looking for it. <laughs> okay, 
that was all of the workout classes I tried in New York City. I hope this video isn't a million years long, but if you wanna see like everyday things, more workout classes on the everyday style, I post on TikTok every day, so go follow me there, daily underscore Aubrey. Follow me on Instagram, daily Aubrey. If you have any questions, message me, I love chatting. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Mwah.